it's talking about the pollutant types and examples that you'll have, um, like associated with water pollution. So we're kind of going to go through this kind of fast, but um, any disease-causing organism is known as a, a pathogen. Um, remains of plants and animals are obviously organic matter. Um, pesticides, fertilizers, fossil fuels, and plastic are known as organic chemicals. Acids, bases, and industrial products are inorganic chemicals. Lead, mercury, cadmium, and arsenic are known as heavy metals. Heat is a physical agent. Soil and silt are sediments. And nitrates and phosphates are obviously known as plant nutrients. That's what I say in my book, obvious. And it's really not that obvious, right? When I say, I realize I say that in all my videos. Oh, <laughs> what happened? You're recording. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm admitting my guilt. Yeah. Um, so, groundwater pollution. Obviously, if there's pollution in groundwater, then it won't begin. Lower reactions in the groundwater will occur. And this is a result of the slow flow because the contaminants are not diluted in the water. And um, there's less dissolved oxygen, or DO and there's fewer decomposing bacteria. Wastewater. So uh, can anyone tell me what the actual definition of wastewater is? It's water leaving the... It's water leaving the home, or it could be industry. Um, and it produces something called sewage sludge, which contains toxic chemicals. And this picture here is just showing the process of how you can convert like sewage sludge and that. Into what? Um, well, it's like a conversion process to purify the sewage sludge because okay. it shows like it goes into aeration tanks and all that. Uh, this next part of our presentation is eutrophication. Um, eutrophication, the definition is excessive blank in lakes and streams. Excessive nutrients, nutrients exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and this is caused by by what two <coughs> chemical fertilizers? Phosphate. Exactly. And um, or cleaning products, and that picture is just showing how, um, like each step of what each vacation does, and how it eventually gets to. Is it cleaning or cleaning? Cleaning. 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 Like a lot of your cleaning products are high in phosphorus and nitrogen. So the eutrophication process, um, as we just said in the last slide, is the entry of phosphates and nitrates, um, which can like the excessive use of these chemical fertilizers leads to the runoff and the groundwater contamination. And then, because of this, the algae uh, grows, or they bloom, because the increased nutrients are then absorbed by the algae. And the increased decomposition of the dead algae uses up the oxygen in the water. So that's when the, that's because the bacteria decomposers reduce the dissolved oxygen levels in the water. And light at the same time is also reduced. Um, because of the increased growth of the algae shading out the other light that enters in, and fish then suffocate and die due to the lack of dissolved oxygen in the water. You're totally going to get that right on the exam. It's going to be the essay. Uh, thermal pollution is the increase in temperature of a body of water, and basically it's when the temperature increases and the dissolved oxygen decreases. And sources of thermal pollution are discharge from power plants or discharge from industry. And uh, Stephanie is actually going to talk about that later in her part and like why it's a problem and what the solutions are. So just to clarify, as temperatures increase, DOs decrease, okay? So increase in temperature or thermal pollution leads to less dissolved oxygen in the water. And what causes is, or, or the leading contributors are, are these. So the accumu accumulation of pollution, um, you have lakes versus rivers and streams. They both obviously have biodegradation. De um, but which of these two, if you had to choose between lakes or rivers, which would be the one that would dilute the water better? Rivers, exactly. Rivers and streams would dilute it better because they have a flow of water. Um, these are ways to treat drinking water. You can, you, you can use filtration, which is the removal of the large particles from the water. So you do water treatment in order to make the water portable, so drinkable, and it removes lead, mercury, arsenic, and other organisms, pathogenic organisms, and 
You can also treat drinking water with coagulation, which is an aluminum, adding aluminum to get rid of the bacteria. This will be step two. Um, the, you can do sedimentation. Sedimentation, which is the removal of the large, like sand and gravel. Then there's chlorination. This is adding chlorine to prevent the growth of bacteria. And then there's aeration, which is forces air in to remove the unwanted particles. And you can also add like flavor to your water. It's really like lime. Problems with groundwater pollution. So groundwater pollution leads to surface water pollution. It's caused by three things, agriculture, um, leaking of gas tanks, and the industrial waste with snow designers. Problems with groundwater is the withdrawal rate, pump, they, they, you remove the water faster than it's replenished by the cycle. And it leads to soil intrusion, so that's the accumulation of salt and leaves in the soil. And then the subsidence, so it's sinkholes, and it limit it places limits to future food production. This happens because the water evaporates and it leaves the traces. Water evaporates, leaving the traces of salt. Remember, water is never I mean not never, but it's rarely pure water. It's rarely pH of seven. There's always impurities. And salt is one of them. So the salt stays behind and the water evaporates. Okay, so the sinkhole is caused by when the water table is lower than it should be, which causes the land to sink in. And then floods are caused by the removal of mangrove forests. Um, water absorbing vegetation and the draining of wetlands for agricultural reasons. And then solution. How would water absorbing vegetation cause floods? Because it usually, oh no, that doesn't cause floods. It would be the lack of. Lack of, yes. So because we're constantly removing plants or forests in a sense, like these, which are water absorbing vegetation. Well, it's caused by the removal of Caused by the removal of mangrove forest. But then she said it's caused by water absorbing veg vegetation. By the removal. By removal. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, all three of them are, like, because you remove them, floods are. Oh, okay. Floods are I get it. Floods are also caused by, like, when you build roads, the roads don't let the water sink in again. Correct. Urbanization. Urbanization. So, let's add that. All right, we're going to pause.